<laughs> so that's amazing. Uh, could you tell me more about this project? So now imagine yeah. uh, that you can change your real surroundings yeah. on fly. <laughs> so you can change it and add here in this real world virtual objects. And this, this is this is so matrix, right? It's like I can create a world, and I can be sitting here at Fullerton Bay now with with MBS behind me, and I start putting it in stuff, and I could be in some other part of the world. Yeah, why not? You can change it. You can put here your favorite pink pony, you, or you can put it instead of me, or you can change the background, yeah. or really you can change the environment all around the world and do it remotely, just sitting on your in your office and working on your PC. So you can put any virtual object anywhere in the world remotely and all the people will see it simultaneously. Mm. Basically, we are providing the platform yeah. that will create the single environment space where everyone, all the users will be able to interact and see the augmented reality content everywhere in the world. Daniel, this sounds very sci-fi, like totally sci-fi. I know this is where the future of VR is supposed to be. But uh, compare what you are telling me now to the uh, current technology that's available. How far are you from the co any competition right now? So uh, the existing platforms are providing the opportunity for the developers and for the users. Yeah. But uh, this is only single users. I mean, uh, it's a personal experience. Uh, we are providing the simultaneous use of the devices, different devices. So our platform is a cross-platform. You can use any uh, mobile phone, you can use any glasses. Um, and the main thing is that um, the existing platforms can be used just after you scan the place. You need to come to scan the space and then you can put the virtual object on this place. Yeah. Using our platform, you'll be able to do it remotely without leaving your home. Wow. Can you just share some of the... I, I know the, probably the list is quite endless, but could you share some of the uh, potential usage, exciting usage for this technology? Uh, first of all, let's, uh, the first and most interesting case, I think, it can be the advertising. Mm. Because the advertising uh, market is oversaturated in the real world. Okay. But in our ecosystem, there are plenty of places. Because imagine, uh, if you want to put an advertising on that building, yeah. it's impossible it's in the real yeah. world. Yeah. But in virtual world, in our augmented reality world, it is possible. Yeah. So we can buy uh, the land and put this advertising there. By the way, I didn't uh, tell you about the land, the main interesting thing. Okay. So you can buy the land because we invented the new type of land. Okay. Land, as in like real estate land. Yeah, real land, but it is digital. But it is linked directly to the real space. Okay. So if you want to put the advertising in the real world on that building, what you do? You go, go up to them and yeah. can I put advertising banner here? Exactly. Print the banner, go up the building and then install it. And then and now imagine that you can become the owner of that land in digital land, okay. in our ecosystem. And then the people will come to you and ask you if they can put the advertising in this ecosystem. So yeah. how do I buy? Okay, so let's take MBS. Uh, no, sorry, not MBS. Uh, is that MBS? No, that's uh, MBS. I'm Singapore, I don't even know my own <laughs> building. Okay, let's say take MBS for example. I'm going to go into the system. I'm, I'm not the owner of MBS, of course. But now I can buy the digital land. That is the facade of MBS. And how do I buy it? Do I, wouldn't, wouldn't the guys be pissed off with me? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, you can, uh, to buy this land, you go to the marketplace on our ecosystem. Okay. You find the owner because maybe there is already an owner of that land. Yeah. If no, the, uh, we can go to this system because the system owns all the land. Okay. You can buy the land from the system, pay the tokens, yeah. you buy that land. Then you uh, have an imagination and you have the project that you would love to implement there. Yeah. You go to the marketplace and uh, place a task for the developers okay. and say, hey guys, I want a huge project advertising campaign for my yeah. company. Yeah. They will give you that project. Uh, you pay in tokens, you get that project, you put it in on this land and start gaining the money. The other question that I have is, this sounds like a Google Earth thing, like a map thing. So do I, how do you even get all this data into your system? Like people actually have to scan the area, right? Currently, if I want to scan this area, I have to be physically here to scan it. And then it goes into the database that people can use. But you are intending to do it from a global positioning. Um, and it's not even GPS related. How does that work? Yeah, sure. We'll not use the GPS for superposition ourselves. Yeah. Uh, we'll, it will work in the following way. So your phone, your camera, 
we'll see the surroundings. Yeah. We'll see those buildings. So we need three or four big buildings. Yeah. We take this information and put it in our map. And we also proposition ourselves. These maps are open source, so you can buy them. It's JS Maps, Geographic Information System. Mm. It is already scanned the world, like yeah. Google Map, you said. Yeah. There are different companies in the world who do the same. So we can buy these maps, put the information on the map, and we are here. What would be some of the potential challenges that you think you might face, uh, legality-wise, or even social um, resistance to this project? People who are concerned about now having my space, like if, I, if this is my house and then it's for sale on the marketplace, the digital marketplace, wouldn't I be affected by that? Hey, I see my, my flat or my room in the digital marketplace that someone is selling. Uh, is there a place that, would, would you, do you think there's a lot of restrictions in that area? So first of all, we are talking about the outdoor. We are not talking about the flats or inside. Yeah. So someone, you can buy the land only outdoor. It's outdoor. the first issue, okay. the first thing. Uh, the, second, the second thing is, uh, would you buy the land near my house? Yeah, I, I don't know. I bet that... So <laughs> I would buy the land in the center of the cities to make the money, yeah. to make some business, to gain money. So uh, first of all, uh, that's the interest, okay. to buy the land in different interesting places. Yeah. Uh, what are the challenges? The main challenge is that someone will switch off the internet and, and that's it. And what's the likelihood of that happening? If someone switches off the internet tomorrow, the world just goes to Mad Max situation. There's no blockchain, there's no Bitcoin. Uh, frick, there's no internet, there's no Facebook. <laughs> right? <laughs> by the way, about the coins. Now imagine the... The AR community will be the biggest community in the world in 2019. It will disrupt the television and all the rest. Okay. And now imagine that um, and this, this ecosystem will be engaged all the users all around the world. You what mentioned does that developers will come in, users will come in because Arcona is actually the backbone for the AR community. So almost anybody out there, they, they can download this package, buy the tokens and get on board this project straight away. Exactly. Because if you are a developer, you can create different content, yeah. but you cannot monetize it. Yeah. And we bring together you as a developer and the users, because the users are interested in the content. They would yeah. like to change the world around them. And you as a developer, you can create this project for them. So we are bringing you together. And then we are bringing together the businessmen and their customers. So in this ecosystem, you create a new business, like attracting the users to see the closed content maybe somewhere in Greece around the ruins yeah. to see how those ruins were in the past. You are making the money and the people are coming to you. It's interesting. And I wanted to say that now imagine that all that community, all those users of our ecosystem, they will use the coins. So what we are doing, we are bringing the biggest community in the world, the AR community in yeah. blockchain. So we are putting a small coin in the every hand on of every users of this community. So this is the main, the main idea, right, how we are bringing together the, those, those hypes of uh, blockchain and AR. We are bringing them together. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you are a believer of AR and VR, you think that's the future of where tech is, and I truly think so, because AR, VR, blockchain is really the, the future right, right now. And now if you can combine all three into just one freaking product, our corner will be it. So, well, again, this is not something that you would see fly off, I would say, even in the next three to six months. This seems like a project that is years of it of its time, right? So get on the action now. I believe the uh, token sale is now on. Yeah, we start the, the pre-ICO by the 27th of November. It will, uh, and then uh, the ICO, we start in the uh, end of January. And the, the most interesting thing will uh, take place in uh, April, uh, no, during uh, March. Okay. It will be the auctions for the only for the token holders, and only the token holders will get the opportunity to buy the sweetest places in this world. Oh, Those goodness. will be the centers of the main cities of the planet. So only for the token holders. Then the auctions will continue after we go listing, but it will not be so interesting because to buy the land in the center of Singapore will get the opportunities just for the users that will take part during the ICO. Well, you heard Daniel himself. If you want to get in and buying the most prestigious spot in the world, the digital world, you're a fan of the Matrix or the SimCity now, is the time to leave that dream. Get in on the token sale now. And you heard, you heard it. Next year, March, is where the action takes place, right? Well, Daniel, thank you so much for being on the show. And thank I wish you. you all the best for our corner.
Great. Thank you very much, guys.